most good people welcome to my youtube channel it's me jola graphics and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to come up with this flyer design using coral draw only so without any further ado let's dive straight in okay so guys um this is um the resource files everything we'll be using this time around i'm going to Put everything in a coral draw file and i'll be linking it down in the description section so you can download it and try out the tutorial by yourself so um let's start from the text um let's quickly make a skeleton arrangement as you would all know i love doing first so uh, yeah the shortcuts are actually showing down the screen so you guys can know what i'm pressing so i'm just going to hit the control key to break all this text into separate lines so yeah this is actually the name of the church so i'm going to be using a form called tw then c and yeah the front is most probably installed on your system already because every system i use i, I always find out that this font is always there um mystery yeah like this then we've got the church logo over here so I'm just going to drag it here like this and then center it and then probably reduce the size like like so okay so um just basically just arrange everything like this then I would love the picture of the papa to be at the center okay due to the way the picture is taken it doesn't fall to the center so I'm going to just manually shift it like this you exactly okay so i think it's it's actually nice like this i might just shift this down a bit and then reduce the size of the logo and then hold my shift and click this one and center it okay so um the picture of papa i would like to use this transparency to over here to drag down yeah mind you i'm using the, the coral draw version coral 2019 yeah i used to have issue with it but i think i'm beginning to understand it more recently so that's why i'm using it okay so drag this out then here is where the work the work comes in so what i want to do is actually create a very cool effect with the text the thing so yeah i want it to be like give me when these should be down then mountain should be on this line so i'm going to basically just break it now then the give me i'm going to be using a font called knife princess yeah exactly this font right here then the mountain also i'm going to be using the same font knife princess so yeah basically we have this so i'm just going to do something like this um i'm going to hit the f10 to select the shape to the and then hit ctrl q and then just play around with this to over here so i have something like this i don't want it to be kind of fancy you know yeah give me this mountain I have something like this. Let's just probably play more with it till you are okay with what you have. I think it's actually too big. So just make it as moderate as possible. I think it's okay like so. So I'm going to be using the rectangle to to draw something like this, which I'm going to use to trim out some parts of the text like this yeah so i think it's nice so we have the dot of the eye gone and the other sharp part of the end also so then these i'm going to be using this font here also and make it bold and italics and then make it all capital letters okay like this and then I'm just going to reduce it to fit in this place over here like so. so it 
should be lying down here okay so i think this is basically uh, okay so now the next thing i want to do is actually create a contour around the mountain so i'm going to duplicate this here like this so i've been getting a duplicate you need to hit shift f2 and make this about three points of outline yeah f12 again and then make it call put the corners to be called like this okay so it are okay and then you hit ctrl shift q so what do, that basically does is it's actually it actually breaks uh, the outline the outline of the text oops okay since they are grouped it won't work so you have to ungroup them it's going to break the outline of the text from the text itself so it's ctrl shift q go to this one ctrl shift q and then this one up here also will do the same so when we do this is going to break the outline from the text itself just like this so now the next one we'll do is actually measure all this together and wait them there yeah. then i hit my plus and then bring this one out and then make it about two points of outline and then the edges i would want it to be equal like this okay so now i want this one to be a lighter color so that we can see what we are doing well or centralize it like this so we can see this one is above so we select the one up and put our shift page down to make it like this now the one down is having outline as we all know so i want to hit ctrl shift q to remove the outline and then we just basically just merge it with the outline like this so now they are together what we want to do now is centralize this and then trim we are using this shape over here to trim out of the one beneath so when we delete this we have this left okay so we can just central centralize it inside here and we have we just have this beautiful contour around our text so if you feel it's too much you can use this contour to to basically reduce the size of the contour but for some reason i don't know it's it's slowing down my system so and it's not actually even working but i'm just going to leave it like this and then select everything and take it to the center and increase the size take it up on the page and pretty much just be free around the design you want it <laughs> so um you're going to ungroup this like this and then in the center papa a bit again then what we want to do now is to create some lapses in the contour so yeah the from the team what's a space here where the team is going to be so i'm going to trim it off here like this i'll take this over here also and then create a trim also trim this out okay so yeah that's basically it we've gotten a very nice text effect so the team is going to position itself here i'm going to pick it up and then make it all caps and then change the font to this font two cents um, i think so make it bold and then increase the size a bit now we want this to be black this black and then i just want this mountain to be red so yeah red but i would like to give it a gradient so i'm hitting my g on my on my keyboard and then i will drag down so yeah we see we select this color down here and then add a black to it yeah so we have a nice gradient and it's it's actually very very cool if i must say so this part over here and this and then these i will group them together since they are all having 
almost equal similarities. They have them all black colors. So I'm going to make it two percent. Um, two points as I outlined. Make it behind the fill, and then make it a white color. No. Then let me go back to the F2F tab again, and then make it curve. And we we'll leave it like so. Then we we'll just quickly group all of them together and quickly apply a drop shadow to it. So the drop shadow is here. Just quickly just hold your control to make it straight and then drag it down. And I think the feathering over here is too much. So I'm going to reduce it to something about 30%. Okay. And then the opacity about 30 to 40% should do. Then hit your control key to break the shadow from the text itself. Then you actually just play around it. And if you find that the opacity is too much, yeah, feel free. You can mix the colors together and see which one works well. So I think this is okay. Like this. So I'll group them together and centralize it. Okay. So um the next thing what I want to do is to actually um add the background that we'll be using depot and the B okay um I think it's kind of better like this yeah so um i would partly this background inside by using the right click to drag and drop on the rectangle and then hit the power clip inside so yeah we just want to eat this hit p to take it to the center and then i think i'm okay with the position like so so i'm just going to right click on this no color well over here so we are having no outline basically so i'm going to power click this one also here yeah, since it has to do with mounting so i've got the picture of the mounting that i'm going to be applying to the design you know so yeah just play around with it make a mounting a bit a bit like this you know so yeah we have the picture of the mounting but i would love um the curve to be a bit balanced so i'll just drag this like so yeah i think it's it's nice like this so um i'm still going to go back inside the power clip and then hit the plus and then take it up and then use the transparency tool to do some transparencies right here yeah so we got a very faint image of the mountain in the background top here like so so yeah the next thing we want to do is actually finish it up by adding the last set of write-ups or text if i must say yeah so i'll drag this up a bit since there's still enough space for it then we've got the dates here i'm just going to delete the date because i'm going to be using an icon and then make these two together using ctrl l See? yeah like this and then make it this font over here tw so basically we've used only two fonts in our design so far which is the knife princess and this tw font okay this is going to be the address so we have the address here also so let's start with arranging these parts first and let's just i would love to make it bold so that it can be seen the background is a bit dark but notwithstanding it's still kind of fighting with the white background white color which is the color of the text so um we have to be careful to make it visible from far so yeah we just we just arrange this like this 
Okay. So I'll put this together and then open the side a bit. Yeah, so I actually merged all these three things together. So there will be one and then I align it to the right control R and then it's my TW font again and then it's my bold then this one I'm going to make it the same font TW and then it my bold and then take it to the right side also then for this then for this I would love to add three rectangles uh three squares squares rather not rectangle okay so like this and like like this and like this and then make it red then these ones are going to be white yeah so basically we have something like this And then I would love to increase the size of the mini string and then change the color to a DPM. Yeah, so I'll just group these together and then bring them down a bit, then apply a shadow. So look like this. Yeah, I think it's nice like this. I want to, to make any further adjustments. So I think the last thing here is for further inquiries. So I'm just going to use my second font also and then take it to the center and then the bottom like this and then basically just take it up and then make it white color okay so I would love to use this tool over here which is the free hand tool to hold and hold my shifts just to create a white line and then right click on the white to give it a white outline and then make it about one point like so okay yeah so i think that's pretty much it for the design so um having followed these steps successfully we have gotten our safe design this beautiful fly over right here with coral draw so um a lot of people would love to argue this design might have been done with photoshop because of the contour and other stuff but finally we we'll are able to make a wonderful design so thank you very much for watching if you have not subscribed please consider subscribing because this helps us come up with more contents and then make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it's going to help the algorithm discover and push this video to more viewers so thank you very much for watching i am jola graphics